Hey guys, Clumsy here, bit of an experiment there. <laughs> Almost fumbled it up. Maybe we'll get back to the helicopter this week. No helicopters for me. I think I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I was uh, wondering if anyone would notice. I started that with the video yesterday. It was just, uh, how do you know, how do you say, experimenting with the footage. And I thought maybe I could mix it up a bit. Not sure if it would fit everything though, but for truck sim, probably that will be the intro starting from now. We'll see. We have a couple of guys today. Thank you for joining guys. Welcome back. I hope you can hear me. We have Simulator as the first one. And Tadius, how are you guys? AJ, good morning. Scary music. <laughs> Alex, welcome back. Pretty busy with uh, fixing planes, huh? And Scott's on the ever first Kappa. <laughs> How are you guys? Did I miss anybody? I think I got everybody. Now we need the clumsy plane skin. Oh yeah, that would be great, huh? I, I don't even know how to enable skins in this game. Hear me fine. Okay, great. So we have a flight field <laughs> stream today. Let's see how we fare. I might have been uh, doing a lot of flight sim offline, although I think I've been learning a lot of bad habits as well. So it could be that we actually fly worse than, than the bigger nurse luck, if you could call it that, that we had last week. But we'll see. We'll see. Just fix this up. Let me. There we go. Hey, Kelly. Glad you made it. How are you? I think you were flying yesterday when where the desktop photo was taken. Ooh. Some nice routes in Switzerland when the weather doesn't try to kill you. Actually, that's a very good idea, huh? Maybe we could go and explore some other place because I've always been flying in Singapore. Let me load up the game. So, any ideas? Any suggestions? Where is... Uh, is there nice weather where you guys are at right now? Maybe we can fly there. I do have Sky Vector open as well. Just so I have an idea what the... The uh, airport codes are. How do you read that anyway? The ICAO share with you ikao ikao all right so uh, sky vector should be coming up like right now yeah there you go that works that works so even though i'm not really sure how to use it but i guess for the very basic like from and to destinations that kind of works go to hawaii <laughs> sleet snow and freezing rain here perfect perfect i think that's what we want not really. <laughs> Bergen. Ooh, is it? Okay. Let's have a look. Because in Singapore, if you go to uh, Singapore, and if you have a look at the airport. Um, yeah, just now. So that's not very nice. Does that update immediately? Like if you go to, uh, if you look at Bergen. Bergen. If you look at local time, yeah, it does change. That's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, that works. Serious. And if you look there, yeah, this kind of works. So thanks for the tip, Tadius. I uh, updated, explained to the beta version, which uh, fixes the weather, real weather stuff already. If you remember last week, it didn't work. It was a bug on the explain side. You could do Tenerife. So somehow that sounds familiar. Tenerife Sur. Sur or Norte? Installing the photo scenery for it is like 5 minutes. 2.7 gig download and just copying the file. Ooh. We could try that. Where where do you get it from? Let's experiment with that. And then we can do a before and after thing. Raining in the UK, but fine now. Let's let's have a look. Okay, Tenerife also has a good weather. Seems like somewhere in where? I don't know. Latin America? Clear conditions in London. 
Um, mm -hmm. Let's give you... How does that work again? There we go, that works. Thank you. Oh, that's in Spain. It's this one. Okay. Let me open that in my other browser. Your chat delay is awful. <laughs> chat delay even, not even the stream delay. That's intense. So uh, this is not English. Uh, is there an English version? I don't think so. Spain New HD. Okay, instructiones. Una vez descargados los archivos deseados, sigue las instrucciones de instalación. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, the largest single island below the red line. Ah, all right. It is actually close to Africa. I see, I see. So it's one of those, I see. So maybe very close to where the uh, tourist bus simulator is. Just click on the island, I don't know either. Canarias. Is it Canarias? No. Gran Canaria. Uh -huh. Fuerteventura. Yeah, that's why it's familiar. Fuerteventura is the tourist bus sim. Tenerife, this, this is the one. Okay. This car guy is probably the download. Okay, it's downloading. Let's see how long it takes. It is a bit slow on my end, I think. So it's saying I'm at uh, 100 kilobytes per second. At this rate, we will be finishing in six hours. No biggie. <laughs> I don't know, I've had that problem for a couple of months now. It might be with my ISP. I don't really know. Let me try something. I have a workaround for it. Let's see if that will uh, do the trick. Because 100 kilobytes per second, you'll never finish in time there. Okay, let's me let me try this one. Hmm, doesn't work either. I think. I think it's really slow. <laughs> hey, Ninja Squirrel. One of those. Welcome back, welcome back. What's like three minutes for you? I see. Yeah, it's not going to work at this rate. Maybe the servers are a bit slow today. Did you just download it now? Tenerife, better go dial up. Actually, it is very familiar, that kind of speed. All right, so let's have a look at Sky Vector before that. Uh, well, that's downloading, if that ever finishes. So, how do you do that even? We go to airports. We can find something. Tenerife. Sur or Norte? GCTS or GCXO? Okay. Is it, can I type that here? I'm pretty clueless about this site. It does work, okay. GCTS, okay, so we have one in the Norte, one one Sur, one Norte, South and North. And then we can go and jump to the other islands. That's actually very nice, huh? Um, that does seem like it works. Tenerife. Maybe we can go from South to North. Yeah, just cross it. Just as a starter. A warm-up. This thing does this thing have a Oh I'm going to screw up the acronyms. How do you say it? ILS? IFS? <laughs> uh Norte to Sur. You can try. Let's see. Speed is... Now it's even faster. It's... Uh... Okay, it's, it's going fast. Okay, maybe there's a chance that it will work because now it's 400 kilobytes per second and it will only take two hours. So... Maybe it will make it in time. One hour for you to finish downloading. Ouch. <laughs> okay. Let's uh, see. 
yeah, maybe let's do this. And then if ever the download finishes, let's try it again. And then in that way, we can compare the before and after thing. The time is not the best locally, but we can easily change that. So we can say, um, right now is what? So we can change that to sunset is around 8 p.m. 8.30. You can start in the morning. This is my favorite spot here. Right that. Yeah, where it's still a bit dark. And then as you take off, the sun takes off with you. Something like that. That looks very good. Cancel download. <laughs> sunrise, exactly. Yeah, sunrise. Select flight plan and sky vector and you will get the input fields for this route. Let's try that. So let's start in, uh, I don't know. Let's start in North. Tenerife Norte. Tenerife Sur. Which one works better? And, uh, the, the VFR is easier to understand. So I can take off there, land here, this way to the east, and then f maybe like turn towards the southwest. Let's see, okay. So plan. And then say plan. So that says GCXO to GCTS. Mallorca in Menorca. Seven gigs. Oh, hey, ultimate. <laughs> Not yet, but soon. Yes. Thank you for joining again. Welcome back. We're just fumbling about in uh, Sky Vector right now. So GCXO to GCTS. All right. Let's try that. GCXO, customize. Let's go and start on the ramp. Um, I'm not sure where I should be facing. I guess it depends on the wind where they'll ask us to take off. Or is there a, a specific like direction? Some airports have that, right? Like it's only like one way. You take off in one direction, land in another all the time. But I don't think you can see that from here. So let's just stay in the middle and uh, play it safe. Good old sky vector. Let's go in ramp one. No airports have one way. I was reading something. Rip. I was reading something about uh, some runways are not allowed. You're, you're not allowed to land there. And then they, they wanted to set that up and explain to reflect in real life. So I'm thinking there are some kind of restrictions. And I would call that one way. Hey Chris, welcome back. You're just in time, we're just starting. How are you, man? Yes, exactly. Take off with the tailwind, wind from behind. And land with the headwind, wind blowing at you. Uh-huh. So you take off with the wind behind you so that it helps you with the speed and with the flight and everything. And when you land with a headwind with the wind blowing at you so that it helps you slow down. Makes sense. Makes sense. Based on the wind, the runway can change multiple times a day. Like that and depends on the wind direction. Okay. GA ramps, general aviation ramps for planes smaller than airliners. Ah, mm, how about AG? Is that the same? Aviación General. <laughs> Maybe it is Spanish after all. Your, your link permission is over. Yes, it's only for 60 seconds. Um, but actually, should make you a regular already. Regulars. How do you add that? Regulars. Add Tadius 72. Okay, that works. Let's go to Turkey. You thought you ha wanted headwind when you take off too, but I don't know. I, s I, I, 
I think that I read that somewhere. So I've been a bit confused. It's, I think, part of the tutorial? I read it somewhere, I watched it somewhere. Try posting again now, that just should have access to post links being regular. So you can compare, okay. Let's have a look. Wow! My goodness! <laughs> that is beautiful! Okay, before and after. Let's do a before and after thingy. Goodness, okay, yeah, that looks amazing. Having a headwind is okay for takeoff as well. As long as there isn't an intense crosswind, you're usually okay. What is a cross uh, crosswind? Just don't let it make you a baby. Yeah, there's always a catch. Crosswind is what? The wind is perpendicular to where you're facing or something like that. Let's go and start this. I think we're okay with that. Coming from left or right. That does sound scary. Hi, Mrs. Clumsy. Wind is blowing across the runway, not head on or from behind. Ah, I see, I see. And then, uh, how can we know the wind direction here? I think in some airports, there's that kind of, uh, how do you call it, wind vane, where you can see the, the, the direction the wind is blowing. But is that something you can see from the plane instruments as well? Or somewhere else? <laughs> I'm learning because you guys are teaching me. <laughs> crosswinds from the side. The limit for the Cessna is 15 KT crosswind. It's at knots. Wow. Spain UHD pack. Yeah, let me just check how our download is working. Our download is now at 4 kilobytes per second. Yeah, I don't think it will finish. Radio frequency, which tells you all you need to know about the weather. It is. Okay. Alright. Whoa, what happened? I think something... I think the weather turned in Tenerife. Because that doesn't look a, <laughs> that doesn't look good at all. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, look at that. What happened? It was clear a while ago. Hey goals, welcome back. You made it just in time. So, I've been trying to learn this. You guys teach me here, okay? But I've been try trying to learn this, how to start the plane properly. I think I watched a video from Jeff Fabignano and from others as well. Let's see if I remember. First, turn on the battery. The guy left us. <laughs> he says, I'm out of here. Clumsy is flying. No way. <laughs> and then we check the fuel. It's coming from both sides, I think. This is left. This is right. This is both. Uh, fuel shut off. The trim has to be in the middle for takeoff. Magnetos, I think we can check that later. And Jeff did something that he like turned on the fuel pump and then turned on all the lights to check. He even turned on the, how do you call this? Pitot? Pito heat? I don't think we need that. It's a bit hot here. And then he checked the lights here. That's a humongous plane. There are humongous planes right beside us. That is super cool looking. Hope laminar comes soon with seasons. It still doesn't? Oh, I see. I'm not sure I'm looking forward to that. And then what should I have on? Like I should have nav, maybe taxi and landing, not. These two? Nav and strobe or just nav and beacon maybe? I don't really know. Can you play this in multiplayer? I think there is a multiplayer option but I'm not sure if it's real multiplayer or just simulated because of the system. Something like VATSIM, yeah. Okay, so and then what you do is throttle a bit, max the fuel, 
but then pull it out again. I think somehow it has to be building up here in the gauges, but it doesn't. Maybe it's not simulated. And then you turn the key at the same time as you push the fuel mixture bit by bit, like so. Like that. Supposedly. And then I think you turn off the fuel pump. I'm not really sure what the fuel pump is for, so you guys let me know, okay? And then pull this out just a little bit. Keep the revs at around 1,000 RPMs. Is that 1,000 or 10,000? I guess 1,000. Turn on the avionics. The directional gyro, it means this is not matching with this. But there is a quick fix for it, just press D instead of fumbling about manually. Like so. GCXO is the airport. 2. What is that? Time is it was last updated. Auto means it was automatically generated report. 320 is the direction of the wind. Oh, okay. Wow. That is a lot of info. Cool. TMI. <laughs> yeah, bit by bit, bit by bit. We'll get there. The fuel pumps fuel to the engine. But why do you have it? Because I remember Jeff saying explicitly you have to turn that off. I'm not sure why you would do that. Hey, super. Made it, man. Okay, so lights, nav, and beacon. I guess that should be enough. Is this where I can find you? <laughs> okay, uh, and then what else do I check? Well, these guys here are always green, I think. Unless I simulated a failure, I don't think I have. Um, we do need to adjust the altimeter later. But for now, let's set up the flight plan. And maybe you guys can help me here. Why is it that these two are not synchronized? I was expecting if I change something up top, it also changes at the bottom. But it's like they're completely separate devices. Do I need to set them up both? So if I go back to Sky Vector, it says GCXO to GCTS. Okay. So let's clear the flight plan first because that's from my previous flight. Uh, how do you do that again? Uh, there, there we go. Delete flight plan. GCXO2, I forgot it already. Um, GCTS. And I think there is an option to look for the nearest airports. Yeah, that's the one. GCTS. And then we can say... Um, can we just say add that? Oh, well, that's activate. Let's see if that works. No, I think I want to start with the this airport first. So GCXO to GCTS. One sec. I'll get back to chat in a bit. G C spelling with clumsy T S yeah that's the one there you go I'm flight simming yes fumbling about <laughs> they are once a Garmin GNS 430 once a 530 but so see if I set this here this is left behind. Is there a way to sync the both of them? Many things to do before they start working. <laughs> Spoken like a true Jadar. It's doing better than me. Not have a clue how to start the engine. Yeah, I had to catch up on a lot of things. Oh yeah, by the way, we had to we have to check the flaps if they're working. Those are the flaps. Pull it down. Sometimes it doesn't work. Let me just click it. Okay. And one more. Yeah, that works. And then they said normally you would have flaps down, but for the Cessna, you don't need it. Even for takeoff, unless the airport has a very short runway. So let's keep that up. 
less complication in my life. XP11 doesn't let them sync in the default 172. Ah, okay. So maybe you have to do it manually. Alright, fine. Do I need to change this at all? Do I have to do this twice? It's a bother. <laughs> um, GCXO to GCTS. G. C. Close. We're getting there. D. S. There you go. Okay. Um. Okay. Oh, you just use the top one. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so it's not really essential. It's just for OCD. Hey, Gato. Made it, man. How are you? How are you? Okay. Good there. What else am I missing? Parking brake still on, that's good. Let's schedule the flight plan. Let's file it first. GCTS. And then I, I discovered that the flight number bug isn't there anymore, so you can leave it blank and the game won't crash, thankfully. At least it didn't before. You never know what happens in the stream. Altitude. What should we right here? Is 2000 a general one? 25 maybe? It's a fairly short flight. It's 29.1 uh, knots. Maybe 25. What do you guys think? Identification, we can do that or change the number. That doesn't really help me. But it just helps me identify the, the numbers better when, when they call me. Yes, the trim is set for takeoff. That one in the middle. 2500 for west direction of flight. Cool, 2500. Let's file that. Altimeter, okay. Skyhawk, 2, 1, 4, Tenerife Norte, Los Rodeos. Norte. Altimeter, 3, 0, 1, 4. Okay, that's a very different altimeter. Tenerife Norte, Los Rodeos, altimeter, 3, 0, 1, 4. So 3, Skyhawk, 0, 1, 2, 4, 1, that means 4. we put this dial here to 3, 0, and 3, 0, 1. Four, so somewhere in the middle like this. Well, oh, that's perfect. That is perfect. So it's something like that, probably. Okay, that makes sense now. We're actually, what, 2,000 feet above? Is that right? Wow, that feels so weird. Doesn't recognize mountains on the approach. Ouch! <laughs> Tuning COM 1 to 118.5. Should give you the weather information. It's a com v lock knob. Ouch. Yeah, so maybe I should have gone 6,000. Let's go 6,000. I can repeat that, no problem. Or maybe not. Okay, apparently. Yeah, there you go. Can I, can I just override it like that? Then, because we're already at 2,000, does that mean I'm only going to fly 500 feet up? That doesn't sound good. Or is it 2,5 above where we are right now? Right now. All right, Kelly, thank you for dropping by. Appreciate it. Visual flying rules require an aircraft to fly in increments of thousands plus 500. Odd altitudes for east and even for west. Ah, interesting. Okay. Five five or seven five. Okay, let's go with five five then. So that should be fine. One sec. Different in game than in external sources, and the height will be different. We check the weather per radio. GCTS. So let's go five five here. Okay. Right. Let's press that. Request altimeter Skyhawk, again. Two one four Tenerife Norte. Los Rodeos. Altimeter three zero one four. 
Okay, that should be good. Reef Norte. Lost rodeos. Altimeter three zero one four. Skyhawk two one four. Good. Skyhawk two one four. A gate hold is in effect for a runway change. Stand by. What does that mean? A gate hold is in effect Skyhawk for a runway change. Two, one four. All right, Gato. Yeah, yeah, go ahead and speak alien language for me, guys. I really like that. <laughs> Enjoy your discussions. <laughs> okay, good. So, what are we waiting for? What did that guy tell us? So someone is using the runway? I don't know. Let's have a look at the map. There are a couple of other planes here. That guy that just disappeared. No, I'm just going to ignore you. <laughs> Never had hold from ATC in this game. I had it as well yesterday. Maybe because I added some AI. I think I added like... I made this 10. No, it's, it's now it's 4 again. Shouldn't be bad. Hmm. Low EQ moment. Hey, Ron. Welcome back, man. How have you been doing? Yes. Remember that correctly. Nice. <laughs> mm. Hello. So we're just chilling about here. And look at these guys. Air Berlin. US Airways. Oh yeah, that's right. 118.5. How do you s do this again? Um, you told me this one. Was it the COM1, right? Uh, 118.5. Um. Oh, that's a switching. Okay. But to do that, how do you change it? This is switching. Change the thing. No. Ah, gold. <laughs> Yar. Congrats, Jack. GG, man. Thank you. Thank you for one year. Amazing. Glad you made it in this flight. Are you sure you want to do that? Com lock knob. Oh, this one. Okay. Oh, that's the use. Okay. Um. There you go. What's it? Uh, 118.5. There you go. There are only changes the active one to the one that is being modified. So, where should the uh, on 18.5 be? Should it be above like this or below? Like that. Okay. Arrow up. Good. Ah, so modif modifiable and then active, the one is the one above. But, so, um, I guess we should be expecting something. Someone should start speaking. 480 mile round trip, nice! How long did that take? No, no worries, man. Glad you made it. Wind, 320. 320. 320 is that way. So is that, does that mean it's... Well, right now, it's like perpendicular almost to how what we're facing. But since the airport is kind of perpendicular to how we're facing, that way means it's like westward. So we'll see what the ATC will tell us. If we are going to go tailwind or headwind. Tailwind is to the west. Headwind is to the east. If I'm reading that right, the 3, 3, 320, 320 there. Next time you can have clumsy fly. Yeah, 480 miles is nothing in a plane. 
goodness, 12 hours. Good job, man. Glad you made it safe. So, that is what, what are we expecting here? Should I just wait for someone to speak? Or should I, like, contact someone? Is that different from this one? I guess so. Doesn't seem like anything's happening though. They might not be. Uh, COM1 radio to that frequency. Ah, that's the one. Okay, so that automatically. So, is it possible they're already speaking with us and uh, we're not hearing them? Because we switched to the weather. The Philippine Navy flies Cessna 172s. Is that true? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. So, what happens when someone holds you like that? Is there a way to see the log, the chat log? Let's see, view. Hmm. such a thing. Replay mode. No, I don't think so. Open logbook. No, it's not the one. Uh, open text file. No. Open checklist. No, oh, that's a different one. Okay, fine. Contact ground on 121.7. Let's just Sky trigger two, that. One. Four, Tenerife Norte, Los Rodeos, altimeter three, zero, one, four. Okay, Tenerife yeah, that's Norte, what they told Los us a while Rodeos, ago. A gate three, hold zero, is in effect one, four, for a runway Skyhawk, change. Two, one, four. Please stand by, what does it mean? So many JDARs, oh, I can imagine it. Okay, so... 118.5 didn't do anything, at least no one was speaking. And it's not here in this frequency. And uh, no one has still still no one has contacted us. So I'm not sure. Should we just reload? Yeah, I did that. I requested for clearance. And they told me a runway hold is in effect or something. I forgot the term. Runway change in effect or something. Please hold. Okay, let's have a look first at this one. Zoom out a bit. Should be fine. On VATSIM, you would need your microphone to talk with ATC. That would be super cool, huh? But good thing we don't need it because I wouldn't know what to say. <laughs> and then you're speaking with real... Uh, it, all, it also has text-only contact. And you're speaking with real people then? Be cool, huh? So, I'm not really sure what's happening. Could be... Explore. Maybe see if something's holding up the. I don't know what it could be holding up. So the runway is over there. Real people. Cool. Yeah, I think I'm far away from being that sim ready. One step at a time, right? Uh, 
I don't really see anything. Well, there is a chopper there. Could that be what's holding up the queue? Maybe that guy? Can we remove you? Let's try to remove these guys. Maybe that's what's holding us up. I don't know. Aircraft. That's us. Let's try to remove them first. Does that work? Okay, there's no one else here anymore. Skyhawk. There we go. One, four. Clear okay, that works. Henry Sua has filed. Maintain five thousand. Swap four seven zero zero. They probably got stuck somewhere. Has filed. Maintain five thousand. Swap four seven zero zero. Skyhawk two one four. So we maintain squawk. 4700, turn it on. And then 5000. That's weird. But we're going west, so we should be 5 5, unless the ATC doesn't follow that rule. Right? So now we can request taxi. Skyhawk 214, runway 30, taxi via Romeo Echo 5, hold short of runway 30. Good. Runway. Taxi Weather Hold isn't good enough for a VFR. Three, zero, sky, hawk, two, one, four. Ah, okay, I see. I see. So VFR has that 500 thing. Good, alright. So now we should turn on the taxi lights. If that makes sense. And now we go over the plane. Go through the plane. I don't think that's the right one, but okay. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so I can just turn right and meet them there. Follow that thing. Okay. Good. Right. So, move the parking brake. So these guys are actually just they're actually just props for this airport. I also was looking at the store page for explain. So there I I saw a lot of like DLCs. Like mostly airports. What do they do? Do they just add like they add more beautiful airports? More details to the airports? But they're like $40 each or something. Sounds really expensive. Looks really expensive. Is this the runway itself? Is it asking me to go through the runway? There are just more detailed realistic airports. That's interesting, but I think some people are actually buying them. Hardcore flight simmers, I guess. Can you not get those via the ortho for xp or the other plugins that you have the devs charge whatever they want basically some p3d planes costs almost 200 wow hey rohan or wispy i should say <laughs> how are you man welcome to flight simming goodness the dollars are real Almost everyone buys them. Ortho for XP is food for ground textures. Ah, not for airports themselves, I see. So if it's an airport you frequent, then it might be worth it. Are 2D and not 3D. Cool. I see. Maybe there's something for Singapore I can try. I haven't seen it yet though. If you guys spot anything, let me know, okay? I've seen one in Bali. So at least there's something in Asia. 
Yeah, it costs like 40 bucks. Ah, there we go. That was fast, Rohan. Are you using like different browsers for that? Or do you have like a plugin for switching accounts? It's very useful. Okay. Oh. Stop. Skyhawk. Two, one, four. Contact tower on. One, one, eight, point, seven, zero. Good. Contact tower on. One, one. Logged out and logged in. Okay. <laughs> You're just that quick. One, four. Free add-ons in Explain Forum. I think, yeah, once I get accustomed to taking off, landing, being a decent pilot, I can get into plugins, but I don't think I'm worthy yet. <laughs> Skyhawk, two, one, four, fly heading, two, nine, zero, runway, three, there zero. we go. You're clear for takeoff. Two, nine, zero. Two, nine, zero, runway, three, zero, Skyhawk, two, one, Perfect. four. Pretty pumped. I can imagine that feeling. Yeah, sometimes it helps me. Like, sometimes I have calls in the evening, like 11 p.m. for work, and then I go to the gym beforehand. And I am expecting that when I get to the call, I would be like so tired and just sleepy. But usually, it's the opposite. Usually, I feel so pumped and energized with the call, and I feel like. I've had a lot of coffee, so it, sometimes it helps. Welcome back. And not yet, we, we haven't flown yet because the guys, I don't know, the AI plane screwed up and messed up the traffic. Um, okay. But now I think we're flying. Do I have to do anything else though before before that? One sec. Turn off the taxi. Um, do some checks. Trim is for takeoff. I don't know what else we need to check. But I'm assuming everything is good. Let's change this to local time. Um, nothing is matching. Okay, maybe just the sushes. Landing lights. Ah, so when you're taking off, you have to have landing lights on. Okay. Didn't know that. Which one are the landing lights here? That's the beacon, isn't it? This is the, na the nav lights, or these two? Where's the landing light? It's a great chocolate shop next door. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, so you have an excuse to eat, and you won't feel guilty. That's how I do it. Sink the gyro. <laughs> Saw Jim once. Don't like it. The single one on the wing. The single one on the wing. This guy? That one? So if I turn off the landing. Ah, yeah, you're right. Okay, cool. Alright. That's the headlights too. Ah, okay. Interesting that the headlights are on the wing. <laughs> cool. Good to know. Thank you. Okay. So, we're good? As good as we can get? Let's do this. Remind you of OMSI. Yeah. Ultimate flight simming. For some reason, I'm being blown off the right side. Isn't it usually that when you're throttling up, you're facing the left side more? Is this because of the wind? Feels very weird. Oh, it's getting very, very unstable. Let's go up bit by bit. Nose down a bit, I don't want it too sharp. Does anyone remember the altitude that we needed to go? 5,000, right? I think. Let's trim a little. I forgot the heading though, dang it. I forgot the heading, guys. <laughs> 270? 
Sky Hawk, two, one, four, two nine zero, okay. okay. One, three, five, point nine, five. So best practice, am I fine to head to 290 now or should I climb to 5000 first? Actually, I'm at 290 already. Okay. Because that's the runway heading, I guess. It looks like it asked us to go to the west. So that is the tailwind because the, the wind direction was 3330 or something similar. Sorry, I'm a bit wobbly. Strobe can go on too. Generally avoid turning on landing lights and strobe to not blind ground crews. Okay. I see. Okay. Bit wobbly. Sometimes when you drive, you can feel the wind pushing you a bit. Oh yeah, I know that feeling. I'm on the wrong heading now, 290 supposedly. The magenta line on the GPS. Right, that's the one we're headed. But I'm listening to the ATC, so they guide me which direction to go. I think I have to climb much sharper now though. No, 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 sorry. Super wobbly. Outside temp is getting colder. Oh yeah, good catch. Let me set a more aggressive trim so I don't have to hold the stick so sharply. There we go. Too bad the weather turned. It was so nice a while ago. It was super sunny a while ago. Commercial planes. I don't think that will happen anytime soon. <laughs> Yeah, I have to get used to this one first. Even here, I'm having trouble already. So I think I'm not worthy. <laughs> Landing light should be on all the time under 10,000 feet. Ah, okay. Good to know. Okay, so I just turn it on. I just turn it off when I'm in the... When I'm taxiing maybe, so it's not blinding. But otherwise, it should be fine to have it on. Ailerons, yes, ailerons. Alien language. You have to use simpler terms with me, guys. Bear with me. One hour for takeoff. To be fair, AI was causing a bit of traffic and we had to manually intervene, right? But yeah, not quite ready for commercial planes, I definitely agree. And we have to contact the guy. We didn't check in with the guy. My bad. Skyhawk 214, Tenerife Norte, Los Rodeos, Altimeter 3014. This is scary. Tenerife Norte, Los Rodeos, Altimeter. Skyhawk two one four. Skyhawk two one four. Flight two one zero. Vectors for the visual runway seven. Climb and maintain five thousand. Two one zero. Let's do it. Flight two one zero. Vectors for the visual runway seven. Climb and maintain five thousand. Skyhawk two one four. Going to start with the autopilot now. Let's set that to two one zero. And then turn on heading so that the autopilot will try to match that orange heading. And then I just say out so that we keep the current altitude we have, which is exactly 5,000. There we go. And it looks pretty scary here though. Not very good weather at all. Most important is that we're safe. That's true. <laughs> The up and down sticky thing. Goodness. Yeah, Scotsman is here. Some big XP11 streamers take even longer to set up their planes. That's true. It's not a race. 
It's not a race. Just watch out for the temp closing to 4 or lower. Icing conditions are a thing. Wow. It's 5 already. You only have the pito. How do you even read that? To heat. Do not lose the speed height readings, but your wings can ice up. Wow. Shouldn't happen without rain. How do you know that it's happening? Will I feel it? Will I hear something like cracking? When should I know that I... Let's throttle down a little bit. When do I know that it should be... Uh, turned on, this one. The pito heat. <laughs> Fully focused. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Thanks, chat. Pito. Okay, pito it. Need. Pito tube. Some narrow tubes on the plane that catch the air coming in and measure speed and height. I had to Google that, but yeah, I think it's what? Th these ones? Or was it? Is it over there in the actual wing? Measure speed and height. They can ice up. P on Tohi. <laughs> that sounds a bit different. You can do a short hair airliner hop from KBOS to KJFK in an hour and a half. You can check this time. Nice. So that's us. A bit wobbly there in the beginning. But now with autopilot we're smooth sailing. And we are going to... Is it GCTS? Okay. And it looks like there is an uh, ILS both directions on this airport. So that's good. You don't have to fly blindly. That's Boston to New York. Ah, nice. Alright, Rohan, enjoy. Catch you in a bit. There's a very high volcano in the middle of the island. <laughs> are we crossing the middle of the island? Yes, we are. We are crossing right in the middle. You think 5,000 is enough? The visuals aren't the best. So it might just come up before us, right ahead of us. Does this run better than FSX? What do you guys say? I would have no comparison. I've never tried FSX. Still no liquid cooler. The delays are real, huh? What is ETE? Estimated time of arrival? <laughs> it's already in India. Maybe it's stuck in traffic. <laughs> Thousand times better than FSX. Easy to set up, no config tweaking, no out of memory errors and random crashes and better graphics. So we picked this place supposedly for the for the nice weather, but um, something seems to have changed. Should we change the weather to manual? Should we? Is it possible to do that? Can we change it? Like if I go here and I just set this up to say, just do that. I button in weather. Oh, that can work too. Or this one. Guess that can work as well. I button. Okay, let's try the I button. Weather. Change. Quick set. Um, no, 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 no. I don't know what that means. Um, clouds. It's a bit too complicated for me. I think I'll try the, the flight one. If it doesn't require me to restart, I'll just do that. There you go. <gasps> Good thing we did. <laughs> Look at that. 
Okay, yeah, so it, apparently uh, ATC doesn't see the volcano in the middle. Ta-da! <laughs> yeah. Um, rip. That doesn't look half bad though, does it? <laughs> yeah, that was lucky. Uh, I think Jay is behind the ATC. Jay, I think, has a bit of influence on the guy, Mumbai bossing me. Yeah, that is the apparent uh, disaster we almost got into. <laughs> Put the clouds back. <laughs> Let's take another photo. That looks very nice already, even without the... Just don't compare it to the, the ones you showed me a while ago. But, yeah, this is looking pretty good. Hmm, sorry. You know me. Photo mode. Just one more. Like... That, I guess? Want to show a bit of the mountain though. There. Okay. So, how do we do this? Do we just climb up? I guess that's the only thing we can do, huh? Let's set that up. Vertical speed 8, would that be enough? Also throttle up. So we don't stall. I think that won't be enough. <laughs> it won't be enough! Is that too much? As long as we don't stall, that won't be too much. Full throttle. Yeah, I think that's too much. Slow down. Two, one, four. Descend and maintain five thousand. Descend and maintain five thousand. The guy is saying. The guy is going to kill me. 18 is normal, okay. Oh crap! What happened? Stall, yeah. Okay. Skyhawk, 2, 1, 4, descend and maintain, 5,000. I don't think that works. Descend and maintain 5,000 and crash. No! <laughs> oh no. Oh no! <laughs> Goodness. Don't you get inside what's happening here? <laughs> no, <it's, laughs> this is like for a Hollywood movie. The excitement is real. Goodness, this guy is killing us. Skyhawk, two, one, four, descend and maintain five thousand. Don't pitch up, go around. Or you will lose speed again. Yeah, okay. Gotcha. There you go. Hey da. Made it just in time. <laughs> kind of. Okay, there you go. I think that is better. Skyhawk, two, one, four, descending in five thousand. Descending in five thousand. Skyhawk, two, one, four. Okay, is that is that good, is that good enough? <laughs> pull up. In this case, pull up didn't work. Clumsy crash time. Almost, almost, almost there. Skyhawk, two, one, 
four. Descend and maintain five thousand. Can you not say, leave me alone? Descend and maintain five thousand. Skyhawk two one four. So if I uh, look out. Is that safe? I think that's safe already. Okay. Autopilot. Skyhawk two one four. Descend and maintain five thousand. No 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 no. Why is it going that way? There we go. Okay, I think that's good. And then face the descend and maintain five thousand skyhawk two. Face the right four. heading. Skyhawk two one four mm. descend and maintain five thousand. I think we have to go around again here. That's the lower part, right? Let's do this manually. ATC is really great. Now this looks like Mars here. <laughs> Free volcano tour. <laughs> it's great when there are no mountains around. Yeah, maybe the Nether Netherlands was a better decision. Skyhawk, two, one, four. Descend and maintain. Five, Leave me thousand. alone, bro. So if I'm looking at this guy, the altimeter, is the max altitude for the Cessna only like 10,000 or even less? So the dials don't go beyond that. Very good. I think we pressed it, guys. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is going to give me a heart attack. <laughs> uh, who knew? I thought this was going to be pretty chill. How do you go back? Oh, there you go, comma. take one shot like that and one more from below like this cool okay wh what did the guy say uh, repeat please 250 250 uh, no we actually have to go down Maybe don't go down yet because we are still You can start to fade Skyhawk, if you go to two, high one, in game. Four, nice. Maybe not nice, but uh, I think that's too much throttle. 747, probably not. 8800 for a Cessna, okay. Start going down bit by bit. There we go. The airport is over there already. Skyhawk, 2, 1, 4, descend and maintain, 2,000. So what is the safest? the maximum vertical speed downwards that's going to not kill the pilot <laughs> faint yes i got the idea <laughs> thanks look at that yeah we had to <laughs> go around the volcano <laughs> goodness Down, throttle down. Let's 
nice seeing some clouds though. And the mountains. The mountains look so good. No volcanoes up ahead, I hope not. I like that effect. Going through the clouds, that looks so good. As long as there's no Sky mountain in front two, of you. One, four, fly heading, three, four, zero. Vectors for the visual, runway, seven, descend and maintain, two, thousand. Three, four, zero. I think it's wanting me to go around or something. Going back to the mountain. Where is this guy wanting me to go? Yeah, it's wanting me to go back to the mountain. No, 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 no. I don't think I don't want that. I'm okay climbing down, but not going back there. No, thank you. Let's go west instead. Go 21. I don't know. Need to get it a straight line to aim for the runway. Yeah, but it wants me to go around. I think it wants me to go through here. Ah, because where is the wind headed anyway? The wind is calm. So actually, we should be okay either way, right? So I can actually land here. Isn't it? So maybe that shouldn't be bad. If I go a bit like maybe 23, 230. The ATC will vector you for an approach. Right. Yes. So, but it wanted me to go 340, which is around that point, going back to the mountain. I guess it wants me to circle around because it probably wanted me to land here this way so it circles like that but I don't want to go back there so I, I would rather go straight here and go around this way if that's possible if not then we'll just go around this way at least there is no mountain <laughs> let's see what that guy will do and we're still climbing down bit by bit Five thousand now. Yes, usually it depends on the wind, but the wind is saying it's calm, so it should be okay either way, right? Landing into opposite opposing traffic is not a good idea. But I thought you guys said there is no one-way thing. You can select the approach. We can select that, like tune it to nav 1 and 2 for the ILS. But I'm not sure if you can tell that to the ATC I want to land there. <laughs> I'm not sure if the ATC will follow it. Yeah, wind calm so you can land on the easiest available runway. Only one direction will be active, so there is a one-way runway. That might be a debate here. Posting points of view, unless I misunderstood something, which is not very unlikely. Okay, we're going past the island now. Man, that looks so lovely, doesn't it? Tenerife doesn't have them all open when calm. Maybe it does. Maybe the ATC just chose the other one because it's closer. Disregarding the mountain, I would have preferred that one too. <laughs> but, 
<laughs> not in this case not in this case so that one is uh, GCTS 07 uh, I don't know what that means but it's 07 so I think we can choose an approach right I saw this somewhere if this is how you do it you can actually select an approach ILS07 I'm not sure what the difference is between Y and Z but we can see then the at least the, the glide uh, not the glide path but the how do you say the direction of that runway yes we're descending to 2000 bit by bit still have the autopilot on vertical speed 80? 800 feet per second most big airports have at least two one Scott landing will take two, one, four, fly heading, two, five, there we go now he's working now Sky it's working. Two, one, four, fly heading, one, six, zero. What? Fly heading, one, six, what do you really want? Skyhawk, two, one, four. Okay. They're both ILS approaches to the same runway. Okay. Let's choose that one then. Activate. Vector. Activate. Does that make sense though, in terms of the map? Yeah, kind of. So yeah, headed that way, we'll be approaching the first waypoint, I would call it a waypoint, and then it would guide us down all the way down to the airport proper. Skyhawk, two, one, four, fly heading, one, zero, zero. Okay. One, one, zero, zero, Skyhawk. One zero zero is around that point maybe. We're close to two thousand as well. Perfect. So we're almost there. We're turning. I should maybe slow down my descent. Thank goodness for autopilot. I don't think I can do this by hand. I would be too wobbly. Retain that height. Let's go up just a bit. You know, on L and R, left and right. Let's see. Let's see. Doing good so far. <laughs> Let's see when it gets to the landing. <laughs> we can always replay it, right? <laughs> LNR is on a runway. Uh, LNR is if a runway has two runways. Hmm. Ah, yes. How about Y and Z? I don't know. It, 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 I think this airport only has one runway. Well, two directions, but only one. I don't know. Runway proper. <laughs> That's how we call it. Wait a minute. What was the heading the guy told us? Skyhawk. Two, one zero one, zero. My four, bad. Henry, sir, altimeter two nine nine two. I actually missed the, the approach there, that one. So I think what we can do is we can skip it. Because the ATC is guiding a slightly different path. It's just similar... Uh, activate. Okay. There we go, let's... Skyhawk, two, the next one. one, four, fly heading, zero, seven, zero, report the field in sight. There we go. Zero seven zero. We should see the airport soon. We are tuned to the ILS, right? Yes. Uh, do you guys see the runway? Yes, there it is. Fly from Manchester. We can try. Two one. Four, clear visual approach, runway, seven, contact tower on, one, one, nine, point, zero, zero. Clear visual approach, runway, seven, contact tower on, It's also kind on, of the traffic one, direction, nine, point, zero, zero. but it's because you don't want traffic to cross. 
I was studying a bit. So at least the concepts, I have an idea, but the actual flight skills, that's where I'm really lacking. <laughs> so I think I can trigger approach now, hopefully. And hopefully that will... Yeah, even the glide slope has been captured. I don't get that often. So if we enable the approach here, ILS 7, right? Yeah, we're actually in the glide slope right smack in the middle and then the autopilot should guide us in the middle all the way supposedly I think <laughs> like a pro after the volcano part I think the volcano ruined everything nah at least we're still alive let me slow down a bit so I was reading something about the flaps that there is like a white indicator here telling you where it's safe to enable the flaps. Is it here or is it even here? Takeoff is easy. Landing is the hard part. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Landing is very hard for me. Because I would really have to like throttle down immensely just to get to that 80 the white arc around 90 knots to 40 that's it the white arc yes okay so it should be safe now right okay so we're we tuned the ILS so that is the approach we're right smack in the middle autopilot is doing its job at which point do you guys think I should turn it off, the autopilot, and do the manual thing? Sky Never, off. maybe. Two, one, four, <laughs> runway, seven, you're clear to land. Runway, seven, Puppy lights are saying off. I'm two, right one, in the four. middle, too red, too white, right? It's not enabled by default. The white part is for the flaps. They have probably flaps damaged, I'll go off in the options. Ah, okay, I see. Alright, so we're just simulating it just for good practice. Arc on the outside, usually you want to land at 60, 65, aim for those speeds at final approach, okay. So we should have slow down just a little bit more. Flaps at, uh, how, what is it, 20%? 20%. Still good? Still good. Glide slope, yeah, we're still there. At which point should I disable the autopilot, guys? So I'm getting a bit scared here. <laughs> Am I ignoring you? Not uh, intentionally. But I'm just really busy, so I cannot read the long text. So maybe I unconsciously skipped it. Crash at Manchester Airport. I don't think I want to hear about crashes right now. <laughs> <laughs> Flaps down, final time. Let's butter this bread. Okay, descent and heading. About now is good, alright. So I disable autopilot. And I can control, this is an, a very interesting, very interesting concept for me that you control your descent, your pitch, using the throttle and not the the pitch. So if I want to not... Oh crap, I have to... So like now, I have to really descend faster. So I lessen the throttle. That's how what I learned at least. And now you can see the papi lights, three white and one red. That means we're too high. So I should maybe lessen my throttle so that I descend faster. Yeah, I'm way too high, but now I'm getting there, catching up. Now I'm right at the spot, I think. And now I should be able to just... Kill the throttle. Skyhawk, 
There we go. How was that? Taxi Lion 7, Tango 2, 6, 0, Tango Alpha, X Ray, India, Romeo, Alpha, Mike, Papa. Yeah, full flaps already. We have full flaps already. Amazing. <laughs> we got lucky. I usually don't land that smoothly. I think I land better with an audience. When I do it alone, I would always hear the loud oomph as the tires hit the, the tarmac. <laughs> so that was my best landing Sky by on. far. Two, one, oh, four, sorry. Yeah. Got a bit too excited. Seven, tango, two, six, zero, tango, alpha, x ray, India, Romeo, alpha, Mike, papa. Eight, taxi That's thanks to the autopilot, I think. Lucky. Thank you, autopilot. But mainly, thank you, guys. All right. Perfect. Just, just flight to top it off. Thanks, Ult. Catch you next time, man. Thanks for the tips. Um, so on the ground, what speed is acceptable? Is this the fastest I can go? I guess it's kind of a... I guess it's not like there's a... I don't know, you guys tell me. Is there a speed limit on the ground here? Although I can't really see my speed because we're below the minimum. I do see it. I do see it. On the nav at least. 30.3 ground speed. Another happy landing. Yeah. Lucky landing. <laughs> the only disaster was there in the... Near the volcano. That guy. Super scary. Good thing I turned off the weather. Can you fly in Norway? Will there it will it be full of mountains? I, I have a bit of a mixed uh, feelings about mountains because I do want to see them. That's what that's what I'm telling about the where swally wind vane. Yeah, right now there's no wind at all, so it's actually down, huh? There. I have a mixed feeling about mountains because at one point I want to see them. But then the ATC will probably ask us to go into them. <laughs> so, <laughs> I have a... Yeah, what do you guys think? Where do you want to go? Let's put it to a vote. Let's follow this yellow line. That is supposedly the line, right? The... the well, the, the orange line, because the yellow floating lines are a bit weird. Good. Uh, where's the other one? Okay, let's just follow that. Fly up the coast. Sky on two one four. Contact ground on one two one point nine zero. Contact ground on one two one point nine zero. Sky two one four. Next Far Cry stream. I still have to drop by one of those. I always see the notifications, so I cannot join at that time. I would like to see it. I heard it's rage quit material, right? <laughs> Probably I would enjoy watching it more. Take off from London Airport and miss the buildings. Manchester, fly the coast. London to Manchester, how long will it take? Can we do that? So everyone wins. Well, Norway isn't. Fly in your local area. In a small plane. Is it filled with mountains? <laughs> Mumbai to Delhi. <laughs> How long does that take? <laughs> An hour. Uh, I guess we can do that. What will, what will we do in the meantime? There's a bit of discussion about that in Discord. That some people actually do the long haul flights for like twelve hours on the in the on the air. What do they do for twelve hours? 
Do they go like AFK? Hey, Erfin. Welcome back, man. Papua. Papua New Guinea? Fly to the Mumbai bus factory? <laughs> Maybe I can crash onto the Mumbai bus factory. <laughs> Berrigan to Stavanger should be 30 minutes. I think I like the sound of that. So maybe let's put it to a vote. Uh, first the country, Norway or UK? Norway or England? Those buses were sent from the UK. Maybe the Mumbai bus concentration then. Oops. My bad. Man, that looks so good. With the mountains and the horizon like that. Beautiful. <laughs> Those UK Mumbai buses are the best, huh? Manchester to Norway. Now that would be a long flight. You can shorten the travel time by using the ground speed selector. <laughs> Norway will kill you with real, real weather. <laughs> I would take that vote. That I would take that as uh, Jay's vote is for UK. <laughs> if the plan is to crash into the Mumbai bus factory. Lots of trucks here. Which ones are you guys? Is that it? Not really that far from Scandinavia. We can do that. It's very hard to decide, huh? Sky's the limit. Wow. And, and I think I have to turn this off. Sky off two, one, four. I think that's the end. Yeah, that's the end of the flight. UK then real weather for sure, it's relatively flat. Let's uh, go sky vector in this, so we can have a visual feel. Um, but first let me turn off. So how do you turn off the... Also, I forgot to turn on the taxi. Should that be on? When I, after I landed, should that be on? And then should I turn this off? So many buttons here. Okay, but fine, let's turn off the thing. We are good. And... Uh, Turn that off. This off. Flaps up. Okay. Maybe I missed that one. <laughs> Turn off all lights and avionics. Ah, okay. Oh yeah, I've, yeah, I turned that off, right? Okay, next time, I remember. Turn off the key, thanks. Hey, Dolphin. Oh yes, I did see Alita. Jay, really liked it. If you like, really just look at the story, it's a bit shallow, but the emotions and everything itself, the action, it's amazing. And the the 3D, my goodness, that's next, next level 3D right there. Felt so smooth, felt so real. Have you seen it? Right after landing, you turn flaps all the way up. Ah, okay, okay. I see. It's for di different for different planes. Small planes like the Cessna should be avoided turn on of the engine while the avionics are active. As the surge can damage electronics. Okay, so uh, turn off avionics first and then turn off engine. Okay. 
they did not finish the story yet. It's a bit of a cliffhanger, isn't it? Maybe they're looking for a sequel. Alright, so you guys wanted a couple of... You guys gave me a couple of options. You wanted... Uh, can you, like, search here? Like, if I if we type here Bergen, will that know it? Not really. Bergen is... Um, that one, E-N-B-R. Don't scare Clumsy with your mountains. <laughs> That's the one. Oh, that looks very mountainous, huh? <laughs> Yar! Look at that gold badge. Fits you very well, Jack. You in gold. flight plan so that's Bergen and then where is Manchester oh look at that lucky Manchester is that way so that will take a while if you say we go from Manchester to Bergen also I'm not sure about the like the waypoints it's probably not as straight as that right you have to go through some waypoints along the way not sure how that works try Papua where is Papua and that is, how long is this? Around four hours. <laughs> Can we fly to Canada? Commercial airliner, not, not yet. Not yet ready for that. I'm sticking to this plane for quite some time until I'm consistent enough. Above Australia, ah. Gold wrapping and there's chocolate inside. <laughs> Well, if it's not, you can always sell it. <laughs> sell it and buy some chocolates. Manchester to London. Let's see how Manchester to London looks like. So that's Manchester. London is somewhere here. That's the one. That's one hour. We can do that. So that's one option. Or Bergen to where was it? Bergen to just remind me. Stavanger. Helicopter flight, no. <laughs> I tried that last stream, it was a disaster. It completely confuses my brain unfortunately. Little local flights is your best bet. Thanks, Dad. That might be a challenge right there. Yeah. Look at Jack hoarding, hoarding treasure. How piratey can you get? Yes, you can fly to anywhere. So we can go to Bergen, to Stavanger. I think I like this one. Because it has mountains on one side and the coast on one side. And it's only 44 minutes. Let's do this one first. I think I like that. London City Airport. E-N-B-R-E-N-Z-V. And then if you still have time, let's do the London one. I have to remember this though. E-N-B-R-E-N-Z-V. And probably as I altab, I forget it already. ENBR. Let's let's do it one 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 flight at a time. <laughs> it's too much for me. ENBR. That's Bergen. Lufthaven Flesland. Wow. GA. That's the one, right? General Aviation. There's only one runway here. Hmm. Remote. Apron. That will require a long taxiing. Let's go with that. GA2. So at least we're closest. Unless that's a runway. No, I don't think so. I think that's the only one. King Airplane. Delhi. <laughs> 8 knots wind in Manchester. 18 knots wind in Bergen. <laughs> Is it? 
Oh crap. How do you how do you check that again? Let's let's go with this. Okay, so you go if you go real weather. Um atmospheric conditions, uh, thermals. Can you see it somewhere here? Beachcraft King Air. Is it here? Okay, that's the one. Uh, pressure, visibility. Where do you see the wind? I guess it's not here. A few cumulus. Or is that the one? 25 at 4 knots. Two. That's the heading and how fast it is. And then at 10,000, it's 322 at 23 knots. It's not that windy. <laughs> we will see. Okay. What was that? King Air C90? Is it this one, Jack? Yeah, I probably won't have the skills to fly it. Look at that. A Skyhawk seaplane can land in the Maldives and stuff. Outside your house, it's calm. Okay, that looks pretty good. <laughs> Needs to see it. <laughs> Goodness, I'm scared. Okay, let's go with that same time. Do you want night? No, I, I don't want night. Let's go with sunrise. Sunrise is cool. That one. Your weather came from Sky Vector. It's calmer in game. Ah. How do you see that in Sky Vector? Really have to study how to read this. Do you see it from here or from a different. Oh, that. I think that's what you're explaining to me, huh? Um, I don't know. It's too much. Too many numbers and too many letters. <laughs> Just the same as what you're flying now, but two engines. Oh, really? This one? Even the interior is the same? King Air or Baron? Where's the Baron? This one. Beechcraft Baron. 58. If the interior is different, I cannot handle it. But if it is the same, then maybe it's possible. Maybe it just feels, handles differently. If it has skins here, I like the old style one. Extra engine in case of volcano. <laughs> oh yeah, I think we'll need that. I think we will need that. What is that G1000? difference i literally have not tried any other plane yet no mods no mods serious vision 747 yowzus no thank you <clears throat> so how about this one okay let's have a look twin engine it's a different manufacturer. It's a Beechcraft. I didn't know that was the manufacturer. Um, this one is King Air, I guess. No, it's also Beechcraft. Beechcraft King Air. Okay. G1000 is a glass cockpit. Ooh. Okay, let, let's just have a look here. Let's try it out. Probably not a good idea to start a plane from scratch without studying it, but let's try it. Risk it. And if I don't understand the interior, we can just try a different one. Go back to the, the Cessna. It's on Windows, Linux, iOS, Android. Oh, really? That works? And looks like my... Stream is rip. Twitch is twitching out again. So let's see. 
Yeah, I think I'm disconnected. Reconnecting. Oh my goodness, this looks so different. OBS disconnected. <laughs> I think it doesn't want the plane, but the, the recording should be fine. But yeah, this looks nothing alike. So I think we'll have to postpone this one. No. Sorry, I cannot handle this. It's too much learning curve. I think I practice flying on the same model first. Oh, there we go. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. Yeah, so it looks very different. And I don't think I will push through with this because it's too much adjustment. There's even a landing gear. I have not encountered landing gears yet. Super cool looking, though. I'll switch to the Cessna. Sorry. <laughs> How about the G1000? I think that's the best I can offer. Night flying is tricky. <laughs> Very different night flying. Oh, what is that? Okay, things are similar looking. Is that the avionics? That looks much better, actually. A glass cockpit. What does it differ? Does that have any implications? I definitely see the difference here. Please learn to fly it. Yes. <laughs> bit by bit. Okay, so that looks familiar. These three. These ones. That one. Yeah, the trim is the same. The key. The battery and the avionics, that's good. The lights, fuel pump, the pitot heat. Uh, what is this? Dimming. Oh, the lighting. Okay, that's fine. I think I can manage this. The screen's in front of you. Ah, shows you the wind and more info and waypoints and GPS. Cool. Okay, let's try it. Let's try it. So, let me try and remember... Battery? Why is that open? Ah, so that's not the avionics, that's the glass cockpit that you were telling me. That's pretty cool. Fuel pump. You can hear the sound. Push throttle a bit. Max that out. Pretty much the same, just more complicated. I don't think I like the complication, but that looks pretty cool, so we'll take that. Okay. Let's do this. Let's see if it works the same way. There we go. It works. Okay. So far, so good. Turn off fuel pump. Lights. The buttons, the switches seem like it's more um, well thought of. Doesn't get in the way of the yoke. Like, I can still click most of these even if I have the yoke on. Although these things, I cannot really see. You did not. <laughs> Let's turn on the avionics. Oh, it's one button, okay. Ah, so it just extends to that way, wow. Um, the problem is, I would have no clue how to... <laughs> ...change this. It looks completely different. Um, uh, clear, okay, that's still there. Flight plan. Okay, yeah, that looks good. Let's clear that. So it's still the same here. Delete flight plan. Okay, that still works. That's good. 
So we are from ENBR to is that again? Um, ENZV. ENZV. That looks super cool, huh? It's even a map and stuff. I like this. And it mostly behaves the same so far. ENZV. There we go. Stavanger. 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 <laughs> you get the point. Good. Perfect. So, lots of other things here. Um, battery. Amps. Electrical. All that kind of stuff. Very fancy. Shows me my heading. Shows me the... So this one is similar to that one. Sorry, I don't really know the term, so you'll have to <laughs> excuse me there. The altitude. Yeah, so these two kind of replace that one, right? The digital and analog versions, I guess. 1080 Ti or RTX 2080? I would get a 2080. I guess it depends on the price. If, it, if they're mostly the same, I would get the 2080. Okay, uh, RPM? 10,000? Yeah, that's good. Let's check the flaps. Ouch. Works pretty fine. You can enable the wind marker on the primary display. It's on the lower buttons. Just bring up the flaps again. A primary display, one of the lower buttons here, okay. Um, wind marker. Let me know if I click on something, right? The CDI. Uh -huh. GPS. Yes, I think there are failures which can be simulated. I just don't want them to happen now because I would have no idea how to work with them. <laughs> this is the nearest airport. Uh, timer. References, Identif identification, I don't know. What is that? Back. And that's the, uh, the thing, the 4702, squawk, right? Code, yeah, that's the one, I think. Okay. What is TME? TME tuning. CDI, OBS, PFD, wind. There we go. Option 1, 2, or 3. What is the difference between 2 and 3? And how do you read that, guys? <laughs> Let's go with 3. I don't know why. So many options here. Super cool. Okay. It will show when it appears. Okay, cool. Uh huh. All right, let's land that thing. E N Z V, right? Reset that. Oh, I cannot drag it. What is that? Okay. Uh huh. ENZV. We are in a Cessna. Um, which one are we? Cutlass? I don't know. Skyhawk still. I have no clue. 
and the altitude what do you guys recommend can I can they just not tell us that <laughs> seven five that's like the identifier if I remember correctly that's so the air traffic control knows which one are you so it will give you a code and you put that in we're talking about the same thing at least let's go uh, uh, wait a minute what's the altitude yeah 25 might be good enough let me see if I missed a message no it should, we should be fine okay 25 let's try that altimeter Sky Two Sierra Papa Bergen Lock Table Full Slant Altimeter Two Nine Seven Three. Okay. Bergen Lock Table Full Slant Altimeter Two Nine Seven Three. Sky Two Sierra Papa. Two Nine Seven Three. Two Nine Seven Five. Two Nine Seven Three. Something along those lines. Make sure you have fuel for the trip. I have no clue. Where's the fuel thing in all the other dials? I guess they're digital now. Yeah, I just went with the default. The fuel thing has not been... I have not yet been made aware of that. <laughs> There's also like a, a nav here. Ah, you can sh also show it there. Cool fuel is very important center display on the side hmm. am I looking at the right thing must be biting me now let's turn off the lights um, Turn off the land, right? Because it will be blinding to some folks in the strobe. Taxi. I'll turn that on when we start taxiing. Center display. This one? What am I looking for? The fuel. Do I see that as a time? The, the one on the right. Ah, fuel. There you go. Left and right. Okay, I got it. I got it. Yes. Ah, yes. Th these are the gauges that we did that we had before on the left side. Cool. Okay. Your G1000 planes have three displays. <laughs> I see. <laughs> I see. You can explain a real life flight on your PC. Still continue with work. Like while it's while we're cruising, I'm working. You mean that way? You subbed. Oh, thank you for subbing. GG. Why didn't it uh, alert me? Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it. Skyhawk. Two Sierra Papa cleared IFR two Stavanger Love Tate Sola as filed maintain three thousand three thousand okay seven, zero zero cleared IFR two Stavanger Love Tate Sola as filed maintain three thousand squawk four okay. seven zero zero Skyhawk two Sierra Papa we have four seven zero zero already but let me just type it in anyway so I can feel it and then I think we have to turn that on right there we go. Is that enough? I hope so. Yeah, it's transmitting. I see the, the dot thing appearing from time to time. GG, man. Thanks again. Make sure to sync your Discord as well if you haven't already. I'm not quite sure what you mean by that, Jay. Like working while flying? Working while we're on, I'm on cruise or something? Well, probably not because I probably will not be able to leave the flight alone fully I'll have to look at it and uh, if I have to look at it I won't be able to fully concentrate 
But before anything else, let's drink. MANT GX06 now with the clumsy trucking combo and uh, EVR sounds as well. Too bad I wasn't able to test out EVR sounds in the video yet. He released it right after I recorded. Tequila. Yes. <laughs> Have you selected the destination airport as your active waypoint? Not yet. I had the impression it was supposedly do that once I fly over it. Let's test it out. I think this should be detected once we go near and then to automatically switch. EVR sounds are nice indeed. I want to. Can't wait to record with them. Okay. Request taxi. Skyhawk 2 Sierra Papa Runway 3 five, Just like taxi, real life. Bravo, Shot of tequila whiskey, before takeoff. Yankee <laughs> Alpha 9. Hold short of runway 3 5. Runway. Three, five, Wherever that Bravo. is, we need a bit of guide. That's the one. It's a bit far. Yeah. Quite a bit. We'll have to traverse the entire way. Oh yeah, I remembered because we were in the general aviation, the kids, kids section. <laughs> Not for the commercial planes, kind of thing. Okay, let's see. Um, sh I should have taxiing, I think, right? And immediately I forgot where we have to go. Don't go on the grass! There we are. Cannot move anymore. Teleport time. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm stuck already. Is it possible to reverse? And then... As easy as that, we end the journey. Why can I not steer? No cheating allowed. Okay, we're slowly turning. I must be doing something horrendously wrong. Tower. <laughs> oh my goodness. What's happening now? Maybe I have to turn the other way. Maybe if I'm on the grass fully, it'll work. <laughs> How can, can that happen? Push back. Um, oh, maybe. Don't do a full turn. How do you do a push back then? Let's see. Push back for airliners. Straight back, is that the one? But there's no key for it. Put the diff on. Hey, thirsty. So is that that one? But this is only for airliners, I think. Let's try it. Sorry, no push carts at this ramp. Okay, that doesn't work. So any ideas, guys? Oh yeah, there you go. I was just too shy about the throttle. There you go. Good tip. <laughs> Everyone out. <laughs> Everyone push. Okay, there we go. Just the wheels that get stuck in the ground. I see. Just have to power through it, huh? Use the propeller to cut away the grass. <laughs> Maybe not such a good idea. My 
we're following the right line here. Hmm. Yeah, that's the one. Drifting. What's your itinerary? Bergen to Stavanger. Refer something back in the past. Maybe. I don't know. For the big planes, isn't there isn't that still being done? Like the car pushing the plane backwards? There's also a free plugin that upgrades the generic airport elements to HD. Ooh. <laughs> what movie do we get to see in this flight? You don't need the movie when I'm flying. <laughs> the flight itself is the in-flight entertainment. Case in point the volcano a while ago. <laughs> I don't think you need a movie for that. That's as intense as you'll get. Where's my speed? Oh, it's there. Okay. Snakes on the plane. Is there a sp digital speedo? Am I missing it? I'm seeing the throttle. Where's the ground speed? Heading 70. Uh, wait a minute, is that 70 or 169? No, that's a different heading. There are normal pushbacks for bigger planes, but most people use the better pushback plugin that gives you a lot of additional options. Ah, okay. There's a plugin for everything, I can imagine. So, ground speed? Hey, can anyone see it? Ah, there we go upper right the second the right panel the purple text on the top okay. very abrupt turning that's fine volcano that's what the deal is for to forget the volcano, is it? <laughs> Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Pushback plugin is free. Thank goodness. Yeah. I'll probably get into plugins after a while. Right now, I'm still keeping it vanilla for my sanity. Because the... Yeah, the, the, the core flight elements itself are a bit beyond me still. Skyhawk 2 Sierra. There we go. Uh, contact tower on 119.10. Contact tower on. It's a very nice airport. Nine, one, one, Even has that runway ahead two, logo zero, in there. Five. Make sure I don't forget. Let's contact the tower. Tower Skyhawk 2 Sierra. Pop. Skyhawk 2 Sierra. Papa. Fly heading 3. Four zero runway three five. You're cleared for takeoff. There we go. Three four zero. Right display can be zoomed in by a lot. Ooh, that's nice. Where is the zoom in? Range. Maybe not. That one. Oh, there you go. Oh yeah. Pretty cool, huh? But um, it tells us where we're going. It's not moving anymore. I think I, I, I think I destroyed it. Oh, there we go. Just took a long time to load. Okay, let's zoom out a bit just so we see the start and end destination. You can go ahead to close the waypoint menu. There we go. Good call. So we are in ENBR. How can I scroll down? <laughs> We're going to 
ENSO. No. Going somewhere else. Look at that. Goodness. There we go. ENZV. Okay. Let's keep it there for now. Let's take off. Does anyone remember what the guy said? Um. Yeah, I like that. The the knobs and switches. We'll come back there. Okay, let us turn on the landing lights. Turn off the taxi. What else? Where is the temperature? Temperature, temperature. I don't think I see it here. But we'll worry about that when we... Is that the one? Negative 14 degrees? Do we need like the pito on? The pito heat? Yeah, the clicking sounds and the knobs. Very nice. That's what you're really, really looking for in a sim, right? That's also why I like the EVR sounds. It's the, slow, the closest thing we can get to truck sim, in truck sim. New stream, new transcoding. We have transcoding now? Nice. Left click on the mouse to move up and drag. No, I think it I think you have to work with the real buttons. Yeah, this just moves the window itself. O80 it's on the lower corner of the main display. That one. One degree, okay. Outside air temperature, thank you. An ISA? Inside standard approach. <laughs> <laughs> Just inventing terms here. Okay, uh, let's turn that off. Let's turn that on later when we get problems. What is the caution thing? What? Nav data out of date. That doesn't sound so good. Okay. Let's go and take off. We feel ill. Go get some rest, man. Okay, everything good. Uh, I remember Jeff was doing something, like the magnetos, he was checking it, like he was, pull the parking brake here, he was climbing the revs to around 1800 I think. Was it 1800? And then he was checking out the magnetos, left and right or something. So it's 1800, I'm looking at the revs there. And then if we switch just the left, should lower by around 500, like that. Now it's 1730. Bring it back to both. Goes back to 1800. And then checks only the right one. Same. But I don't know what they're for. I'm doing it just for best practice purposes. Maybe some of you guys know. You need Navicraft to update nav data. Maybe more needed when you start with larger planes. Just how you check if magnetos are functioning properly. What are magnetos for anyway? The only magneto I know is the bad guy. <laughs> From X-Men. Strobes on. Oh, thank you. Okay, so only taxi is off. Good. Just look some paracetamol. Took some paracetamol. Maybe you have to get some rest, man. Too much ref drop means a mag problem. Ah, look at you, plane mechanic you. <laughs> Are the spark for ignition? I see. Kind of. I have an idea. At least. Thank you. So that's what it is. So it should only be falling around 500 revs. 500 RPM. Look at those lights. Beautiful. Are for fighting X-Men. That's what I know. Yeah. That's the Magneto I know. Okay. Let's do this. Heading what? 350? Okay. Exactly how the runway is facing. Perfect. Climb to what? I forgot. They'll remind us anyway later. I think I'm starting to like this plane. It feels a bit more high tech. Although I am kind of missing the dials. The more dials, the more authentic. The 
feels very windy. Climb up, climb up. Just bit by bit. Oh, it's very windy indeed. Where is the alti the uh, vertical speed thingy? I think it's on the right side, okay. Right? Yes, that one. I think it told us to climb to 3000. Crosswind. Close your eyes. Oh, that's crosswind, okay. That's scary. Contact scary zero. stuff there. Okay, let's check in with the controller. While I'm climbing here. Skyhawk 2 Sierra Papa Bergen Luck Cables Altimeter 2976. Bergen Luck Cables Altimeter 2976. Skyhawk 2 Sierra Papa. Guys, where's the autopilot? <laughs> Where the heck is the thing? Oh no. Without mags, the engine won't run. Ah. Oh my goodness, that looks beautiful. This is why I like the sunrise. Stream a little bit. Okay, there you go. There you go. That's more manageable. You can see from my house. <laughs> wave. Wave, Sim. Wave. Yeah. There, Sim. I see you. Hey! He, he did the right thing, staying at home today. Seaplanes coming inside on. Scary stuff. I don't want to head that way. Shouldn't we be heading like 3, 4, 0? Slow down our ascent. We're almost at Sky 3,000. Two, oh, there you go. Five, zero. 250 five, zero zero. it is. What? Okay, 170 then. You guys will have to help me find the autopilot. <laughs> I don't know where it is anymore. One seven zero. Let's hope there are no mountains this time. Slow down a bit. Sky two Sierra Papa resume on navigation. What? Why? I like this uh, heading thing. Tells you the GPS heading you should be at. And it's Skyhawk, saying 170. Two, Sierra, Papa, climb and maintain 3,000. Oh, I forgot to climb and maintain 3,000. Read back. Skyhawk, two, Sierra, Papa. Right panel. Right hand panel, left side. Okay, I haven't read my chat yet. Give me a second. Ah, the 170 is the GPS. That's the waypoint that we set. And the... Uh, one sec. And the, this heading, the 70, that green or blue. How do you point that? Okay. I think we're trimming fine here. Yeah, perfect trim. Almost. There you go. Love the travel of clouds there. It's beautiful. It's scary, but beautiful. Right hand panel, left side. Right hand panel, this one, left side. Ah, there it is. Yes. Uh, um, GPS. 
Can I do that if I click nav and then alt? Vertical speed, alt. Where does it say the alt or the. Huh. Where is the guy taking me? And how do you adjust the heading? Ah, that's the heading. So I, I want to change that to 170. How the heck do you do that? Wait, wait, wait. Turn, turn off the autopilot. It's not set up the right way. Or maybe I didn't turn it on in even. You save more fuel if you cruise high. Pretty complicated arcane way of optimizing your fuel usage. Ooh. Fuel management, eh? that's something I'll get into as I learn about the flight's basics. And there's the speed as well. Skyhawk, two, speed. Sierra, Papa, climate, three, thousand. I, I am at 3,000. Am I not? Climate, three, thousand. Skyhawk, two, Sierra, Papa. It told us Squawk 4700, 4700. HDG knob on the left side, right panel. <laughs> so, <laughs> read that again. <laughs> on the left side of the right panel in the middle. Oh, this one, okay. Yeah, somehow that Sky made sense. Two, Sierra, Papa, plot and maintain, 3, yeah, is my altimeter wrong? Why is he telling me that? Seventy. Let's turn on the heading. There you go. Does that work? Where does it say that you have autopilot Skyhawk on? Two, Sierra, Papa, climb and maintain three thousand. Climb and maintain three thousand. Skyhawk two, Sierra, Papa. Wait a minute. I'm super confused. Let's do this one step at a time. I want to turn on the heading. Oh, maybe I have to enable the autopilot still. Let's see. I don't know. Doesn't seem like it. Okay, I think it's good now. And then I want to stick altitude. Oh, there we go. AP, I think. Yeah, heading, AP. Okay, good. So I think that's set. But I have to set the altimeter. Two nine seven six. Volcano mountains. Two, nine, seven, six. The one on the map display seems not to be coupled up. Same one on the main display. I think that one. Okay. Right. Um. Two nine seven six. Where do you set the altimeter? Here. Yeah, 2976. So maybe we're a few dials off? Oh crap, one sec. Why is that far? So this one says... We're not at 3000, this one is saying. Is there a different... Altimeter setting in the... Oh, that one, I guess. I don't know. It's maybe something... No, I don't know. I don't know what it is. That's the for the autopilot, I think. This is for the heading. We can also control it here, okay. Um, it's 3012 on the main display. The barrel knob to change it. Barometer? That one? Ah, okay. That one then. 
that right? And then if I set vertical speed to um, where's the vertical speed knob? <laughs> this is why it's hard to change in the middle. Um, stop. The add knob on the left is to set the altitude. Works with X-Plane 11. FS Flying School 2019. Ooh. Thank you. Okay, I'll have a look. It will definitely, I'll definitely need it. So how do I set that vertical speed knob? Which knob do I have to push here? 2976 should be. Same as this one. Yeah, 2976. So that one should be 2976. Somewhere right there. Right? What is CRS? No, no, no. Is that what I have to adjust? 2976? There we go. Now they're matching. Okay, now they're matching. Good. Alright, so now I need to know how to change the vertical speed here. Um, I'm assuming it should be somewhere here. Nose up, nose down? That's the one. Ah, it's not a, it's not a dial, it's a button. Okay, so that's still the altitude and this is the adjustment. I get it. That's the altimeter. Okay, gotcha. Let's do it bit by bit. I like this. I like this digital thing. Just takes some getting used to though. Okay, no volcano so far. That's good. <laughs> no wonder the guy is keeping on telling us to uh, to climb to three three thousand. There we go. Altitude three thousand. the sunniest weather so far um, ETE 40 minutes wow we are really speeding up though I think speed wise we can do a bit more let me increase the throttle a bit The heat is off. Let me turn it on. Good call. How do you know that it's not working, or if it's if something goes wrong? <laughs> Will the, the engine die or something? Few people go for skydiving. One of them straps onto another and they jump. In the free fall, the guy who's strapped in the first guy asks, "How long have you been an instructor?" Is that the punchline or is there a punchline coming? If there is, I missed it. <laughs> Must be too focused on the flying. One sec. If you get eyes on the pito uh, and altimeter and speed indicators to stop moving. Ah, okay. I see, I see. So it's still moving. So that's good. I missed it. <laughs> Let me read that again. No, still miss it. My brain is not working. It's too focused on trying to fly. <laughs> Dang it. Also, no views. Can we get left, get left behind? <laughs> so is this how you do flybys? You do like, go like this? 
position yourself like so and then unpause oh beautiful you guys got it good for you <laughs> maybe when i'm not flying i can get it not today though not today let's go with that still that tight you to eyes as the cessna has no wing the eyes eee. but at least you'll see your speed crashing down Lovely. That is amazing. Yeah, it's a shame you can't see the coast. Maybe we should change the weather. Maybe it will save us from some volcanoes again. Let's see. Oh, there's an there's an easier way to do it. F2. Okay, let's try it. Let's try it. Um, I thought it was ha it had to be manual. Mm, doesn't work though. Maybe it's a different key now. Okay, let's change the... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Not so sure if I should do it, but let's try. <gasps> okay, no mountain. But there is a beautiful sunrise though. Which makes this well worth the weather cheat. We don't have volcanoes. <laughs> No worries at all, Dolphin. Thanks a lot. In the meantime, let's take some photos. Hmm, how do we take... a nice... shot here. That's in your fishing boat down there. <laughs> How's the cold treating you? I'll take that. Good. What happened to our altitude? Why did it go down? Oh, because probably the the winds changed. You should get this map in ETS2. Thankfully Chris is here. He's working on that, right? Nice view indeed. Jack spa Spanner in the Bobby B. <laughs> zoom in a little here. Um, where was it? Range. We're actually going to fly by an airport. Is that even legal? Speed is right at the edge. Maybe we should lower down a little. This digital readings, these digital readings are pretty cool, but I kind of miss the analog dials. It's a nice change though. 3000 it is. Heading, autopilot. If it was illegal, ATC will alert me. If it's implemented at least. <laughs> I'm not sure if, if the ATC is fully implemented. That's us. That's the next one. Yeah, because it's right at the approach and we're at 3,000 feet I don't know still have the name the ship Bobby B you sank Alex which game is this? poor Alex huh? oh my goodness that mountain range beautiful let's step outside Fishing. You can sink your boat in fishing? <laughs> Shift 2. Ah. 
Thank you. Thanks a lot, Dolphin. That's exactly what I was looking for. Fishing variant C. Didn't appreciate you laughing while it sank. The guy left us. Didn't know that was so immersive. And what is this? Shift 3. Is that like land view? <gasps> Where are we? Okay, we're still here. Beautiful. And how you laughed. <laughs> Airport view. Ah, okay. Looks like I have to tweak. There's something I, I discovered as well. If you're bored, you want just to enjoy the view, there's a an option here. AI controls your views. Okay. That's now how I uh, tried it. Okay, let's let's wait for it. It should change in a bit, I think. There we go. Look at that. Perfect. <laughs> What's happening? Okay, maybe let's not let the AI control my views. Okay, we're still here. Are we at risk of hitting that mountain? No, we're good. We're good. Let's go and check on the fuel and everything. Fuel is good. Everything else is in the green. Oil pressure temperature what is EGT and what is fuel flow gallons per hour okay we're good in the eco friendliness I guess something like that so this is the interesting thing once you get to cruising what do you do EGT is exhaust gas temp you use it to optimize the mixture. Ah, so this is going to change when I adjust this? Or is that a different mixture altogether? So many airports in here. Could actually have chosen that one, a closer one. So now we have to wait 30 minutes and we won't have time. So I think I have to increase the ground speed to a bit of cheating. Two times? Yeah, fast forward, exactly. Yeah, that's what I was expecting, Chris. It sounds very dangerous, especially flying this low. And then literally flying over the airport like that? I am cheating. <laughs> I blame Jay. <laughs> Even the ground the, the speed changes, I like it. Wow. That so does the... if I change the ground speed, does it reflect here? No, it's still uh, it's still the same here, 100. Beating the mixture. Yeah, but it's an art. People fighting over it since airplanes are a thing. <laughs> I see. It's a rocket Cessna. <laughs> You can always select the nearest airport from the flight menu. Yeah, I can also change it here. I can uh, do that kind of thing in here, supposedly. Where was it? Airport in. Yeah, nearest airports, that's the one. 
So we passed by ENSO. NHT is coming up. NBR. We're going somewhere though. Can't remember. Flight plan. ENZV. Yeah. Hey Lawrence. Welcome to the stream. How are you? Ludicrous speed. <laughs> it's yeah, four times. It's four times the speed. That should get us faster where we're going. 3,000, right? Yeah, supposedly. Let's match that a bit. There we go. That's 3,000 matching here. Perfect. We're good. The runway on stored is very short. On an ILS landing, when you capture the glide slope, can you lock it so it stays? Yes. If you have the autopilot turned on, I think you, when you, there is a certain criteria I'm trying to understand from the videos that when you're like 60% oh, oh, below the glide path or something and when you hit approach and then if you see the GS glide glide slope indicator in the autopilot uh, thing that means you're following the autopilot is, has captured it if it hasn't I think you can, you can force it by clicking the alt button until the GS appears try it but don't take my word for it because <laughs> it will be the blind leading the blind you know a guy who had a Lance Air, it flew at 450 miles per hour. Vroom. Not something you want to hear if you're flying A380. Yeah, it's a jet now. I wonder what speed we're at. So it, if it's four times, we're traveling at 400 knots. How do you convert knots to miles per hour? Two, Sierra, Papa, fly heading, one, eight, zero, vectors for visual, one way, one, eight, descend and maintain, three, thousand. Okay. Fly heading, one, eight, one, eight, zero. Run way, one, eight, descend and maintain, three, thousand. Heading, two, Sierra, Papa. One, eighty. Skyhawk, two, Sierra, Papa, Halgerson, Monte Carney, altimeter, two, nine. Nine, two. Oh, the thing changed already. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. Because we changed the weather. 2992. There you go. So just for that. Just this one as well. So we have a fail safe. My bad. Uh. There we go. Wait a minute, guys. I'll be back. I'm back. Okay. One knot is 1.1. Ah, it's pretty close. Okay. I didn't know it was that close. I thought it was like multiples of, I don't know, bigger number. Do we see the airport ready? Not yet. Or do we? ENZV. Is it this one already? Oh, I think that's that one, huh? So where are we landing? That's an interesting thing. There's a runway facing that way. It's like a cross. Yeah, I'm new to flight sims too. Once it captures, it stays as long as if you're on the AP. Yes. That is how I've seen it. <laughs> I, I was able to do it some a few times. But yeah, um, I'm no expert. 
all right dolphin thanks a lot catch you next time man thanks for the tips for the thanks for the tips there you go Only airport to take an A380 Norway is Oslo. Wait a minute, huh? Let me just see. Okay, I'm good. We're good. We're good. 8,000 feet. Man, that looks beautiful. Alright, so I wonder which approach will be... Oh yeah, I was going to ask that, uh, so... Skyhawk, 2, Sierra, Papa, Haugesson, Montaigne, Carby, Altimeter, 2, 9, 9, 2. Haugesson, Montaigne, Carby, Altimeter, What does it mean? Vectors nine, nine, for the visual approach, Skyhawk, runway 18. Two, Sierra, ah, that's what we should be looking for. Okay, so now it's telling us already which we should be taking. 18. That's 11. That's 18. Okay. Now the thing is, where's the CDI? That's the CDI. Okay. But that's only the... Oh, there we go. CDI, that's the heading, and that's the vertical, I think. Maybe. Feel good? Feel still good. So, just as an experiment, if I tune this one, Okay, that was completely different. Maybe... Okay, it came up. Okay, yeah, it does update. Okay, good. Let's see the item. Alright. Mm. ETA. Nine minutes. Okay, I think we have to step it up. The stream is nine minutes as well. Thank goodness for this fast forward, right? There's also a teleport feature apparently. I can click on that and I can say ILS approach, but it feels really cheaty. So I only do that when I fail the landing so I can do a take two. So I'm expecting Skyhawk, there we go. Two, Sierra, Papa, fly heading, zero, nine, zero, descend and maintain, two, thousand. Fly heading, zero, nine, zero, nine, zero. Descend and maintain, two, thousand. Skyhawk, two, Sierra, Papa. Zero, nine, zero, and go down. Uh, vertical speed. Skyhawk, two, Sierra, yeah, Papa, yeah, yeah, yeah. descend and maintain. Gotcha, I gotcha. Then let's throttle down so we don't go beyond the safe speed, how we call it. There we go. What is that thing? The 3000 had like a yellow light in it. See that one. I think that was there before. Okay. Okay, looks like that's that's what I want. So we should be 
changing to a heading of I don't know 180 degrees probably after a while something close to that Skyhawk it's really good isn't it Our guy looks pretty confident. Let's do one more flyby. Oh wait, let, let me check my... Two, Sierra, Papa, flyhead, one, five, zero. No, 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 We're going down so fast. Too much, too much. Flyhead, one, five, zero, Skyhawk, two, Sierra, Change the head then. Skyhawk. Two, Sierra, Papa, climate maintain, two thousand. He has been drinking tequila. <laughs> kind of fits, doesn't it? The look. It's like a tequila guy. Climate maintain, two thousand. Skyhawk, two, Sierra, Papa. Faster. Skyhawk. Sierra, Papa, climate maintain, 2,000. I know, I know. Climate Sorry, my bad. Sky, Hawk, 2, Sierra, Papa. Okay, I'm almost there. We are almost there. No, 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 no. Out. Um, I'm doing something wrong here. We're too much above. <laughs> exactly. All the shenanigans will be up. Let's just go down a bit. Too fast. Too fast. Okay. There we go. Two thousand. That's 2082 actually. Oh, this is so confusing. In the old autopilot thing, you can turn the knob so even if you're at alt, it would go down just a smidge. But here I don't think it works if I click nose down. There you go. Wait a minute, that's not changing. How are we at the approach? Yep, yeah, almost there. Almost there. There we go. Okay. Skyhawk two Sierra Papa Flyhead okay. one eight zero. Report the field at sight. Flyhead one eight zero. Report the field at sight. Skyhawk two the approach. Sierra, we see the field. Skyhawk two. 
Let's click the approach. Skyhawk, two, Sierra, Papa, clear visual approach, runway, one, eight, contact tower on, one, one, Is it eight, working? Point, three, five. Clear visual approach, runway, one, eight, contact tower on, one, Let's one, have a look. eight, point, three, five, Skyhawk, two, Sierra, Papa. Eighteen. Doesn't seem like. Dang it, it's wrong. Oh, no, 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 no. It work? No, no, no. It's not working. <laughs> Okay, let's turn that off. Doesn't work. Tower, sky, hawk, two, Sierra, pop. You have to do this manually then. I hope we can still adjust. Because we are way above light slope. You rebuilt this airport. Nice. I think I remember. Yeah, pretty cool. Maybe I shouldn't have turned, done that. Yeah, where we're not, where we're not in the white area yet, but fine. My bad. Okay, so let's sharpen that descent. I throttle down a bit so we can catch up. Hasn't given me the go signal yet, though. To land. How far are we? Oh, very far. Look at that. Yeah, I have to. Skyhawk, two. There Sierra, you go. Thank Papa, you. Runway one eight. You're clear to land. Runway one eight. Skyhawk two. Sierra. Papa. Okay. Just that, I can still catch up, I think. I hope. Request missed approach. Now we can push this. <laughs> 11 a.m. hype, yeah, we can push this because it's 11 a.m. By hook or by crook, we will land. There we go, we're catching up to it. You see the green dot? We're almost there. Almost there. Okay, we've caught up to it. I think we are on the right track. Kind of. Puppy lights are good. No, we're too low. Maybe... Dang it, we're... Falling too fast. Throttle up so we don't descend too quickly. You might land on the water instead, guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. No, 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 no. We'll, we'll, we'll catch up, we'll catch up. Catch up. We're getting there. We're getting there. There we go. We are within range again. Last flaps. I think I should have done that a while ago. But fine. We'll make it work. Where did the lights go? Okay, there we are. Phew. It's a very tricky balance to do. 
too high now. Fine. You can do something about it. Here we are. Almost there. Almost there. Okay. Close up. Kill the engine. Oh, it's a bit dark. Sky mm. two, Sierra, Papa, in taxi line one. I'll take that. One, golf, six, it's not as smooth. But they didn't explode. I'll take one, it. One. <sighs> Goodness. Yeah. I relied too much on the autopilot and it wasn't working with the glide slope. Flat tires. <laughs> I'll take it. Replay that landing. Let's try it. Let's see, let's see. Oh yeah, look at that. Let's slow more. A bit uneven, not too shabby. Let's try again, let's try again. Okay, real time this time. Wasn't that bad. Wasn't that bad. <laughs> Just a bit late. <laughs> but we have the entire runway anyway. Your hands were not on the sticks. Hey Cappy. Just in time for that landing. Might be expensive. Ah, that's fine. I'll take it. I'll take it. Nose was not up. Oh, is it not enough? Let's try again. Let's see that again. Was it? Hmm. Ah, so sh it should be more up so that this one lands first. Let's see. Let's see. It was, kind of. It was, kind of. Yeah. At least still the, the back tires landed just a bit earlier. Your hands were not on the sticks in the replay, was it? Oh yeah, because he was uh, taking tequila shots, I think. <laughs> yeah, back wheels need to touch first before the nose wheel. Makes sense. We need more clearance for the nose wheel. Ah, should be bigger uh, difference, is it? Alright, next time, let's see. Good. Skyhawk 2, Sierra, Papa, hit taxi by 1, 8, Echo 1. Ah, let's just stop six, there. Call, 5, call, 4, call, 3, hold short of runway 1, 1. Maybe I have to get that plugin. I remember Tadius was recommending a plugin for the landing so that you know if it's like a safe landing or not. That would help. <clears throat> so I don't just judge it by sound. Yeah, I had to. I had to because I had uh, a few perfectionists <laughs> on the stream. <laughs> Not telling who it is. No, it's it's really so interesting. I really like it. What was that you were saying? Um, before you do that, turn off avionics. Turn off the lights, right? And uh, turn off the heat there. Good, and turn that off as well. Go out in the middle of the runway, why not? Need to use your feelings. Yeah, feelings, more than autopilot. I'm really enjoying these flights though. 
the experience is quite uh, exhilarating, very relaxing, but at the same time, heart pumping. I don't know how to describe it else. Thank you for the tips, guys, as always. And I'm going to continue flying offline, <laughs> learning a bit. <laughs> Heard that flying in Norway is extreme sport. Good thing it was not so bad the weather, and we cheated the weather a bit, so it's not too bad. Anyway, thank you, guys. Thank you, Alex, for moderating. Enjoy. Thank you for the sub. The subs. Who did we have? We had Jack. We had uh, Arifin. I think subbing. Thank you guys. I'll catch you on Friday. I'm not yet sure what I'll be streaming. Right now, it's probably going to be the MAN with the clumsy trucking combo and the. Uh, what do you call it? Probably continuation of the Grand Utopia map. Unless something comes up. I'm really liking that map so far. So good. Anyway, thank you. Have a good day. Have a good night. Catch you on Friday. Thanks and bye-bye. Clumsy flying. <laughs> oh, let's try that again. Oh, that doesn't fit. Okay, nice. 